Hey everybody, welcome to another video by Garage Door Guidance. Uh, Andre here again. And in today's video, I wanted to go over a very common issue. And that is when your garage door is buckling or sagging down the middle. So if you ignore that bowing or sagging for too long, what you'll end up seeing is a, a big crease start to form on the outside. Uh, on the top and bottom of those panels. And again, this one has gotten so bad that it's affecting all four of those panels up to the top. So this has become a costly repair at this point when it could have been prevented by doing a simple repair when they first noticed the sagging or bowing. And here on the inside, you got more of those bends and creases in the panel. So you have big tear forming there. Tear on the bottom. There's a very big tear here. You see the light shining through there. This is typically something that you would actually have to call somebody to do for you. This guy right here is what they call a strut support. Typically you'll have just a single one running across the top of your garage door. Uh, as shown here, that's this brace right up across the top. Stretches from one end of the panel all the way down to the other. So you do have to position that strut support correctly. Typically what I do is look for where it's bending the most, of course, and what I'll do is I'll either put it, so if it's bending down the center, that's where my sag or bow is, I'll typically go right underneath that hinge and it'll stretch all the way across one end down to the other. Um, if it's down at the bottom here where you're getting the biggest sag, I would go right above that that way it supports both the second section and first section. If your bowing or sagging is here on the, between the four, third and fourth section, I would put the brace across here like so. What I'm going to do today is, again, this door is pretty shot, but what I'll do is put my brace right above this first panel and hopefully we can show you guys how much of a difference that'll make even on this completely shot garage door. So if you notice this kind of a bowing or sagging, you definitely want to get this strut support installed. If you can't find one of those yourself locally, you do want to call a service company and have them come out and actually put that on for you. Because again, if you don't do that, uh, you'll end up more than likely having to replace the whole entire garage door. Let me go ahead and just attach this strut support for us here. Even though this has gotten so bad, this strut support still does a ton of work in supporting that bowing and sagging section. So let me see if I can get this open and show you guys how much of a difference that has made. So you can see right there, we still have a pretty heavy bounce um, on between section two and three. And again, we weren't trying to prevent that one in this particular case because section one and two is where we were getting a very crazy and dramatic drop and that's what we were trying to prevent by putting this brace on here. So hopefully you guys can tell by opening that manually from the first look that you had to how it is now with the strut across the garage door. That has pretty much taken care of the entire sag in that particular spot. So this is something you definitely want to do if you notice that your door is bowing or sagging. This is a much cheaper option than having to replace the entire garage door. And I would seriously recommend you take a look at your garage door. Make sure it's not bowing anywhere or sagging uh, like you've seen in this video. Again, these are much more dramatic cases here. But if you do notice even a little bit of a bow or a drop in your garage door, then you definitely want to get one of these struts put on whether you do it yourself or hire somebody to do that for you. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully this helped you guys and hopefully that you guys are able to save your door if it is bowing or sagging in the center like that. Thanks for watching Garage Door Guidance and we'll see you guys in the next video.